Hi, I'm Sandy from Electromagnesium and I'm here today to talk to Beatrix about her horses and magnesium. Hi B, how are you going? Hi Sandy, good thanks. So what do you do professionally? I'm a barefoot trimmer. Yep, and what does that entail? What do you do? Um, trim the feet in a way that causes them to function better and sort of be healthier for the whole horse. Yeah, so it's important to trim regularly in the right regularly, way? Regularly, yeah, the right way. More of a natural sort of form of trimming, I guess. And if they don't get their hooves trimmed properly or regularly, what happens to the horse? Um, they start to grow out of shape. The hooves are constantly changing constantly like if um, it's out of balance a little bit the hoof will change in a way yes. and so we posture. try and we keep we keep them in balance because yep. if the foot's a little bit out of balance it'll change in a way you end up with flares and deviations and things and the whole foot goes out of shape and that affects the upper body as well I see and how did you find magnesium chloride when you started to use it in the horse feed absolutely great and a lot of clients I've sold it to have come back to me a month later and said where can we get some more you know, pe other people have noticed the difference in my horse's nature and personality. Just so a lot calmer. They're calmer, yeah. so more relaxed? A lot more relaxed, more sort of attentive when you're training them. Yep. Not likely to get fizzy. So why, why wouldn't um, a horse be getting enough magnesium in the normal diet today? Basically because um, I think they didn't originate here for a start, they originated in Southeast Asia. And all that area is very high in magnesium. And uh, all, a lot of the feeds that we get, you know, everyone hears about calcium and stuff because it's well advertised for osteoporosis and the milk industry, dairy industry, but nobody hears about magnesium. And it's not included in a lot of feeds or definitely not in the great enough quantities if it is. So in the soils, if they're eating the grasses, they're not getting enough magnesium that way? Not in Australia. Yeah. So by just adding a... a how much magnesium salt, magnesium chloride salt would you use? In Most a horses a couple tablespoons if yep. they're sick laminitic or something. Laminitic horses you might go up to a quarter of a cup twice a day. So laminitic that means they've got a problem with the hoof, the laminar? With the lamina, yeah, that yep. holds the hoof wall onto the bone, like sort of Velcro type stuff. Yeah, and how would you know there's something wrong in that area? Um, usually their stance, they show lameness. Sometimes the first signs of laminitis can be something as simple as um, horse refusing to go out a gate refusing to be worked, not wanting to be caught when it used to. Uh -huh. So the first thing you notice is a calmness and a relaxation, so I guess that would be good for performance horses. E mm -hmm. Excellent, yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, over several months, I guess, the problems with the lamina happens um, more gradually, doesn't it? So when you're adding magnesium to the feed, when do you start to notice well, the Well, magnesium helps with the blood circulation and makes the whole horse generally healthier, so that health goes down to the feet, the same as toxins go yep. to the feet. So for the horse to repair the lamina, how long does that process? Well, they can't actually repair it, they have to grow it down. Right. It'd be the same as our fingernail sort of getting half torn off. I see. We, the, that connection's gone, so you need to grow it down, grow a, basically a new hoof. And right. because magnesium's so good throughout the whole body, it helps with the blood circulation, and that's and one the, of the most important things with feet. I guess the mineralization of everything. Yeah, everything needs magnesium. magnesium. And it's one of my favourites too. I use it as underarm spray before I go to work. And, yeah. you know, in between horses, I might just lift up my shirt and give myself a couple of sprays and it keeps me going. Well, we're all in the same environment, aren't we? Yeah. We're all magnesium deficient yeah. humans, horses, all sorts of yeah. pets and animals. So um, I'd like to ask you and get you to show us how you actually mix the feed okay. and we'll feed the horses, shall all right. we? Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, B, okay. show us how it's all done. All right, well, it's quite easy. I basically just put my copper in, some water. Put a bit of nice thing. And the magnesium. I sort of average about two tablespoons, which would be about like two thirds of a laundry scoop. Give it a quick mix around and the chaff. And because the water's cold and the copper takes a little while, we'll sort of leave it a couple of minutes before I feed it out. So that's all nicely dissolved in there now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, I'll see how they like it. <laughs> you guys, go on. Over. Over. 
Thank you so much, B, for showing us how to mix electromagnesium flakes with horse feed. And thank you for all your information. B is from BB Hoof Care, and her details will be on a link on our website, electromagnesium.com.au, and also magnesiumforhorses.com.au. And thank you, and thank your beautiful horses. They performed really well today. I think Oki thought it was a pleasure, and thanks so much for coming out and sharing all this with me and allowing me to share my horses with you. It was a pleasure. Thank you.